Thanks for being here. I got some messages, or one message, that I'm kind of quiet. And yes, indeed, I am kind of quiet. And I don't really have an external microphone. So I'm just going to try and speak up. I am. So, today... Today it's time to look at a VIC-20 that's still in the original box. It is. Let me just check here. Make sure I have... Oh, that was funky. Oh, look at that. My, my stickies here, my post-it notes, when I turn on the monitor, they all suck. Here. Okay. So, big twenty. Right. This is not a big twenty. I must fold this. This. The diagnostic information for the pet. Diagnostic. that replaces the 6502. Always tidy up. Right, so that's it there. There's my 64 tester. There's a wayward screw. Okay, so let's look at the friendly computer. And here, With color and music. Yes, indeed, indeed, do. The box, or the sleeve, is not in perfect shape at all, but it's still here. Now, it's funny, I always wonder, I'm afraid something is going to fall. So, I'll take off the sleeve. something happening. Okay. There. Oh, we go the right way. Alright. So here we have a big 20. It's very clean. Wow, is it ever clean? A very clean and neat. It has the round connector, as opposed to the two pronger. Wow. It is clean as can be. Now, if I glance, maybe it's on here. I don't know that this is the original packaging of this machine. And in fact, I find <laughs> it is not. But does it really matter? Does it? Made in Canada. So, here we have it. The keys are all here. They all appear to be, you know, workable. No missing springs. There's a power supply here. I'm not going to try that at this second. Yeah. There is a manual that looks like it has had some use. Ah yes, an important reminder, you must turn off your computer before inserting or removing cartridges and connectors of accessories such as data set, joystick, etc. in order to prevent serious damage. Oh, here is the sacred, oh, the sacred Commodore warranty. Limited 90 day warranty. Yes. And what is this important notice? 
If your television picture flutters, you may have to type poke 38864,133 and hit return to stop the fluttering. Hmm. Addendum to the program in the user's guide. Pages 153 to 159. Huh, imagine. I've never seen that before. Hmm. All right, so I'm not going to try this power supply at the second. Because, oh well, I don't know if it works. But I know this one. This one works. So the power switch is off. We shall apply power. And this has a 5 pin video connector, but that's good because we have here a 5 pin. In, but maybe to a five pin video cable. Excuse me, madam. It will apply power. The screen will flash. I did have, excuse me, madam, I did have this kind of turned down some because, oh, it's, there's nothing there. Let me just try reinserting this. power light is on and definitely like when you when you turn on a machine and you see it, the flash flash that's a good sign I mean it means something is happening inside when you see nothing that is not necessarily a good sign just to make sure that I'm sure that I have everything connected properly I'm going to take this Commodore 64 It's perhaps not properly secured. So, oh, there we go. We are now in. So we will turn this 64 on. We will see the screen flash. And we will see <coughs> that it does in fact power supply is working, the video monitor is working, the video cable is working. The VIC-20 is not working, but it is beautiful. Beautiful. It is. So let us try again for a moment. At times like this, I kind of wish there was a cartridge that a wonderful fellow named Rudy lent to me. Hi Penny, how are you doing? that um, I've since returned to him, it might tell us something. Hi, Penny, how you doing? Okay, so we will turn this on, and we will see nothing. Penny, Penny, Penny. Penny, Penny, are you getting up? Are you getting up? There's room. There's room to get up. There's room to get up. You can do it, Penny. Come on, Penny. There's room. Come on, Penny. Are you coming? 
coming up? Are you gonna come say hello? You don't have to. Penny, 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 penny. Hi, penny. Hey, penny, come on. Yep. This computer could use a CAT scan. One thing to check inside is. the fuse is intact. Ooh. But, you never know, you know. Alright. Alright, so very carefully undo the keyboard. And, now I noticed from other videos that if I held the board too close, it became dark, because there was no light there. So this is, in fact, a very clean, mean VIC-20. It is not an original, as in, it's not as old as one might think from the style of the case. Who knows? Things happen. It is a shorter board version. It is. Um, most of the sockets, sorry, pins, most of the chips that we would be interested in are in sockets. So that is good. I'm just looking to, you know, th to see that they're all there. And they are. I'll give them all a little push, which will make no difference, of course. Sometimes reseating is... Good. The reason I say the screen flash is important is because I've heard there are, have, in fact, have been people who have noted, I think it was with VIC-20s, or at least some of the VIC-20s, that you could turn it on and have the LED light up, but still have a blown fuse. Because somehow the LED didn't care if there was a fuse. This is not one of the, but that would be if you turn it on and you don't see a screen flash of any sort. So I'm just going to do the old touch my fingers to the chips. I suppose if I can get this off, I should, because who knows, maybe the video should. Ah! <laughs> The video chip is not there. That would certainly be reason for the machine not to work. Imagine. So, and without that chip, there is no hope. This is the heart of the day 20. It is. Um, well, I really didn't think I would find that it would not be there, but it is not. Can you imagine? Hmm. Well, I guess before much else can happen, I need to find another big chip. I do. By the way, I have been not while I've been recording, but while I've been shuffling things, I have been making notes here. So, <coughs> I had 564s and a big 20, but I think that's the last thing I updated on a pet. Um, I moved some things from the dining room. So, there were eight, eight big 20s um, that I've looked at. They all seem to have notes on them. Um, there were 22 Commodore 64s in intensive care. That means I don't know what's wrong, but they're there. Um, then there was another box that had eight 64s and two Vic 20s. Um, it did. And the, these are all ones that, from what I know, are not 
functioning properly. So let me look here. I get 5, 13, 22. So, <coughs> hmm. one of the updates, the grand total at this moment for Commodore 64s would be 3564. Big 20s would be, I must include this one, 12. One pet. But I know there's more. And this is December 15th. <coughs> so, we can update that. So, how many 64s do I have that I know of at this moment? 35. Is that the final total by any means? No. No, because that is, well, you know, different. there's a big 20 right there. Maybe I could scavenge. Maybe. Maybe I could. Um, but for the moment, I think I will stop for the second, because I, I know I have a couple of big chips that I took out of a couple of big 20s on my other table. <laughs> I just have to find them. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this machine looks very crisp, very neat, and very much lacking a big chip. So, yes, if you don't have a big chip, your big 20 just won't.